أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام را These are verses of the wise scripture Is it a wonder for mankind that we have inspired a man among them saying Warn mankind and bring unto those who believe the good tidings that they have a sure footing with their Lord The disbelievers say Lo, this is a mere wizard Lo, your Lord is Allah who created the heavens and the earth in six days. Then he established himself upon the throne, directing all things. There is no intercessor with him, save after his permission. That is Allah, your Lord, so worship him. Oh, will ye not remind? Unto him is the return of all of you. It is a promise of Allah in truth. Lo, he produceth creation, then reproduceth it, that he may reward those who believe and do good works with equity. While as for those who disbelieve, theirs will be a boiling drink and painful doom because they disbelieved. He it is who appointed the sun a splendor and the moon a light, and measured for her stages, that ye might know the number of the years and the reckoning. Allah created not all that save in truth. He detailed the revelations for people who have knowledge. Lo, in the difference of day and night, and all that Allah hath created in the heavens and the earth, are portents, verily for folk who ward off evil. Lo, those who expect not the meeting with us, but desire the life of the world, and feel secure therein, and those who are neglectful of our revelations. Their home will be the fire because of what they used to earn. Lo, those who believe and do good works, their Lord guided them by their faith. Rivers will flow beneath them in the gardens of delight. Their prayer therein will be, Glory be to thee, O Allah. And their greeting therein will be, Peace. And the conclusion of their prayer will be, Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds. If Allah were to hasten on for men the ill that they have earned, as they would hasten on the good, their respite would already have expired. But we suffer those who look not for the meeting with us to wander blindly on in their contumacy. And if misfortune touch a man, he crieth unto us, while reclining on his side, or sitting, or standing. But when we have relieved him of the misfortune, he goeth his way as though he had not cried unto us because of a misfortune that afflicted him. Thus is what they do made seeming fair unto the prodigal. We destroyed the generations before you when they did wrong, and their messengers from Allah came unto them with clear proofs of his sovereignty, but they would not believe. Thus do we reward the guilty folk. Then we appointed you viceroys in the earth after them, that we might see how ye behave. And when our clear revelations are recited unto them, they who look not for the meeting with us say, Bring a lecture other than this or change it. Say, O Muhammad, it is not for me to change it of my own accord. I only follow that which is inspired in me. Lo, if I disobey my Lord, I fear the retribution of an awful day. Say, if Allah had so willed, I should not have recited it to you, nor would he have made it known to you. I dwelt among you a whole lifetime before it came to me. Have ye then no sense? Who doth a greater wrong than he who inventeth a lie concerning Allah and denieth his revelations? Lo, the guilty never are successful. They worship beside Allah that which neither hurteth them nor profiteth them, and they say, These are our intercessors with Allah. Say, Would ye inform Allah of something that he knoweth not in the heavens or in the earth? Praised be he, and high exalted above all that ye associate with him. Mankind were but one community, then they deferred, and had it not been for a word that had already gone forth from thy Lord, it had been judged between them in respect of that wherein they differ. And they will say, If only a portent were sent down upon him from his Lord, then say, O Muhammad, the unseen belongeth to Allah, so wait, lo, I am waiting with you. 
and when we cause mankind to taste of mercy after some adversity which had afflicted them, behold, they have some plot against our revelations. Say, Allah is more swift in plotting. Lo, our messengers write down that which ye plot. He it is who maketh you to go on the land and the sea till when ye are in the ships and they sail with them with a fair breeze and they are glad therein. A storm wind reacheth them and the wave cometh unto them from every side and they deem that they are overwhelmed therein. Then they cry unto Allah making their faith pure for him only. If thou deliver us from this we truly will be of the thankful. Yet when he hath delivered them, behold, they rebel in the earth wrongfully. O mankind, your rebellion is only against yourselves. Ye have enjoyment of the life of the world, then unto us is your return, and we shall proclaim unto you what ye used to do. The similitude of the life of the world is only as water which we send down from the sky. Then the earth's growth of that which men and cattle eat mingleth with it, till when the earth hath taken on her ornaments and is embellished, and her people deem that they are masters of her. Our commandment cometh by night or by day, and we make it as reaped corn, as if it had not flourished yesterday. Thus do we expound the revelations for people who reflect. And Allah summoneth to the abode of peace, and leadeth whom he will to a straight path. For those who do good is the best reward, and more thereto, neither dust nor ignominy cometh near their faces. Such are rightful owners of the garden, they'll abide therein. And those who earn ill deeds for them requital of each ill deed by the light thereof, and ignominy overtaketh them, they have no protector from Allah, as if their faces had been covered with a cloak of darkest night. Such are rightful owners of the fire, they will abide therein. On the day when we gather them all together, then we say unto those who ascribe partners unto us, Stand back, ye and your pretended partners of Allah. And we separate them, the one from the other, and their pretended partners say, It was not us ye worshipped. Allah sufficeth as a witness between us and you, that we were unaware of your worship. There doth every soul experience that which it did aforetime, and they are returned unto Allah, their rightful Lord, and that which they used to invent hath failed them. Say unto them, O Muhammad, who provided for you from the sky and the earth, or who owneth hearing and sight, and who bringeth forth the living from the dead, and bringeth forth the dead from the living, and who directed the course? They will say, Allah. Then say, Will ye not then keep your duty unto him? Such then is Allah, your rightful Lord. After the truth, what is there saving error? How then are ye turned away? Thus is the word of thy Lord justified concerning those who do wrong, that they believe not. Say, is there of your partners whom you ascribe unto Allah one that produceth creation and then reproduceth it? Say, Allah produceth creation, then reproduceth it. How then are ye misled? Say, is there of your partners whom ye ascribe unto Allah, one that leadeth to the truth? Say, Allah leadeth to the truth. Is he who leadeth to the truth more deserving that he should be followed, or he who findeth not the way unless he himself be guided? What aileth ye? How judge ye? Most of them follow naught but conjecture. Assuredly, conjecture can by no means take the place of truth. Lo, Allah is aware of what they do. And this Quran is not such as could ever be invented despite of Allah, but it is a confirmation of that which was before it and an exposition of that which is decreed for mankind. Therein is no doubt from the Lord of the worlds. Or say they, he hath invented it. Say, then bring a surah like unto it, and call for help on all ye can besides Allah, if ye are truthful. Nay, but they denied that, the knowledge whereof they could not compass, and whereof the interpretation in events hath not yet come unto them. 
Even so did those before them deny. Then see what was the consequence for the wrongdoers. And of them is he who believeth therein, and of them is he who believeth not therein. And thy Lord is best aware of the corruptors. And if they deny thee, say unto me my work, and unto you your work. Ye are innocent of what I do, and I am innocent of what ye do. And of them are some who listen unto thee. But canst thou make the deaf to hear even though they apprehend not? And of them is he who looketh toward thee. But canst thou guide the blind even though they see not? Lo, Allah wrongeth not mankind in aught, but mankind wrong themselves. And on the day when he shall gather them together, when it will seem as though they had tarried but an hour of the day, recognizing one another, those will verily have perished who denied the meeting with Allah and were not guided. Whether we let thee, O Muhammad, behold something of that which we promised them, or whether we cause thee to die, still unto us is their return, and Allah, moreover, is witness over what they do. And for every nation there is a messenger, and when their messenger cometh on the day of judgment, it will be judged between them fairly, and they will not be wronged. And they say, When will this promise be fulfilled, if ye are truthful? Say, I have no power to hurt or benefit myself, save that which Allah willeth. For every nation there is an appointed time. When their time cometh, then they cannot put it off an hour, nor hasten it. Say, Have ye thought, when his doom cometh unto you as a raid by night, or in the busy day, what is there of it that the guilty ones desire to hasten? Is it only then, when it hath befallen you, that ye will believe? What? Believe now, when until now ye have been hastening it on through disbelief. Then will it be said unto those who dealt unjustly, Taste the torment of eternity. Are ye required aught save what ye used to earn? And they asked thee to inform them, saying, Is it true? Say, Ye by my Lord, verily it is true, and ye cannot escape. And if each soul that doth wrong had all that is in the earth, it would seek to ransom itself therewith, and they will feel remorse within them, when they see the doom, but it hath been judged between them fairly, and they are not wronged. Lo, verily, all that is in the heavens and the earth is Allah's. Lo, verily, Allah's promise is true, but most of them know not. He quickeneth and giveth death, and unto him ye'll be returned. O mankind, there hath come unto you an exhortation from your Lord, a balm for that which is in the breast, a guidance and a mercy for believers. Say, in the bounty of Allah and in his mercy, therein let them rejoice, it is better than what they hoard. Say, have ye considered what provision Allah hath sent down for you, how ye have made of it lawful and unlawful? Say, hath Allah permitted you, or do ye invent a lie concerning Allah? And what thing those who invent a lie concerning Allah will be their plight upon the day of resurrection? Lo, Allah truly is bountiful toward mankind, but most of them give not thanks. And thou, Muhammad, are not occupied with any business, and thou recitest not a lecture from this scripture, and ye mankind perform no act, but we are witness of you when ye are engaged therein. And not an atom's weight in the earth or in the sky escapeth your Lord, nor what is less than that or greater than that, but it is written in a clear book. Lo, verily, the friends of Allah are those on whom fear cometh not, nor do they grieve. Those who believe and keep their duty to Allah. Theirs are good tidings in the life of the world and in the hereafter. There's no changing the words of Allah. That is the supreme triumph. And let not their speech grieve thee, O Muhammad. Lo, power belongeth wholly to Allah. He is the hearer, the knower. Lo, is it not unto Allah that belongeth whosoever is in the heavens and whosoever is in the earth? 
Those who follow aught instead of Allah follow not his partners. They follow only a conjecture and they do but guess. He it is who hath appointed for you the night that ye should rest therein and the day giving sight. Lo, herein verily are portents for a folk that heed. They say, Allah hath taken unto him a son. Glorified be he. He hath no needs. His is all that is in the heavens and all that is in the earth. Ye have no warrant for this. Tell ye concerning Allah that which ye know not. Say, verily those who invent a lie concerning Allah will not succeed. This world's portion will be theirs, then unto us is their return. Then we make them taste a dreadful doom, because they used to disbelieve. Recite unto them the story of Noah, when he told his people, O my people, if my sojourn here and my reminding you by Allah's revelations are an offense unto you, in Allah have I put my trust. So decide upon your course of action, you and your partners. Let not your course of action be in doubt for you. Then have at me, give me no respite. But if ye are averse, I have asked of you no wage. My wage is the concern of Allah only, and I am commanded to be of those who surrender unto him. But they denied him, so we saved him and those with him in the ship, and made them viceroys in the earth while we drown those who denied our revelations. See then the nature of the consequence for those who had been warned. Then after him we sent messengers unto their folk, and they brought them clear proofs, but they were not ready to believe in that which they before denied. Thus print we on the hearts of the transgressors. Then after them we sent Moses and Aaron unto Pharaoh and his chiefs with our revelations, but they were arrogant and were a guilty folk. And when the truth from our presence came unto them, they said, Lo, this is mere magic. Moses said, Speak ye so of the truth when it hath come unto you? Is this magic? Now magicians thrive not. They said, Hast thou come unto us to pervert us from that faith in which we found our fathers, and that you too may own the place of greatness in the land? We will not believe in you too. And Pharaoh said, Bring every cunning wizard unto me. And when the wizards came, Moses said unto them, Cast your cast. And when they had cast, Moses said, That which ye have brought is magic. Lo, Allah will make it vain. Lo, Allah upholdeth not the work of mischief makers. And Allah will vindicate the truth by his words, however much the guilty be a worse. But none trusted Moses save some scions of his people, and they were in fear of Pharaoh and their chiefs, that he would persecute them. Lo, Pharaoh was verily a tyrant in the land, and lo, he verily was of the wanton. And Moses said, O people, if ye have believed in Allah, then put trust in him, if ye have indeed surrendered unto him. They said, In Allah we put trust, our Lord. O, oh, make us not a lure for the wrongdoing folk. And of thy mercy, save us from the folk that disbelieve. And we inspired Moses and his brother, saying, Appoint houses for your people in Egypt, and make your houses oratories, and establish worship, and give good news to the believers. And Moses said, Our Lord, lo, thou hast given Pharaoh and his chiefs splendor and riches in the life of the world. Our Lord, that they may lead men astray from thy way. Our Lord, destroy their riches and harden their hearts so that they believe not, till they see the painful doom. He said, Your prayer is heard. Do ye twain keep to the straight path and follow not the road of those who have no knowledge? And we brought the children of Israel across the sea, and Pharaoh with his hosts pursued them in rebellion and transgression, till when the fate of drowning overtook him, he exclaimed, I believe that there is no God save him in whom the children of Israel believe, and I am of those who surrender unto him. What, now, 
when hitherto thou hast rebelled and been of the wrongdoers? But this day we save thee in thy body that thou mayst be a portent for those after thee. Lo, most of mankind are heedless of our portents. And we verily did allot unto the children of Israel a fixed abode, and did provide them with good things, and they deferred not until knowledge came unto them. Lo, thy Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection, concerning that wherein they used to defer. And if thou, Muhammad, art in doubt concerning that which we reveal unto thee, then question those who read the scripture that was before thee. Verily, the truth from thy Lord hath come unto thee, so be not thou of the waverers. And be not thou of those who deny the revelations of Allah, for then wert thou of the losers. Lo, those for whom the word of thy Lord concerning sinners hath effect will not believe. Though every token come unto them till they see the painful doom. If only there had been a community of all those that were destroyed of old, that believed and profited by its belief, as did the folk of Yonah. When they believed, we drew off from them the torment of disgrace in the life of the world and gave them comfort for a while. And if thy Lord willed, all who are in the earth would have believed together. Wouldst thou, Muhammad, compel men until they are believers? It is not for any soul to believe save by the permission of Allah. He hath set uncleanness upon those who have no sense. Say, Behold what is in the heavens and the earth, but revelations and warnings avail not folk who will not believe. What expect they save the like of the days of those who passed away before them? Say, Expect then, I am with you among the expectant. Then shall we save our messengers and the believers in like manner as of old. It is incumbent upon us to save believers. Say, O Muhammad, O mankind, if ye are in doubt of my religion, then know that I worship not those whom ye worship instead of Allah, but I worship Allah who causeth you to die, and I have been commanded to be of the believers. And, O Muhammad, set thy purpose resolutely for religion, as a man by nature upright, and be not of those who ascribe partners to Allah. And cry not beside Allah unto that which cannot profit thee nor hurt thee, for if thou didst so, then wert thou of the wrongdoers. If Allah afflicted thee with some hurt, there's none who can remove it save him. And if he desireth good for thee, there's none who can repel his bounty. He striketh with it whom he will of his bondman. He is the forgiving, the merciful. Say, O mankind, now hath the truth from your Lord come unto you. So whosoever is guided, is guided only for the good of his soul. And whosoever erreth, erreth only against it. And I am not a warder over you. And, O Muhammad, follow that which is inspired in thee, and forbear until Allah give judgment. And he is the best of judges.